Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah HaKadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom, Labakariam, Shah Yasharala. Who you're looking at right now is uh, Robert Keo Saki. Uh, you know, for those that's familiar with this guy, I've been listening to him for uh, years now. You know, author of uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He has a series. It started out with one book, you know, um, one of his his biological dad was poor, meaning he was an educated school teacher. You know, he was one of those teachers that had tenure. So he moved up in the ranks. And then uh, his rich dad, so to say, would be his friend's dad, who was a business owner. And he showed him the ins and out of real money. Okay, that's what the uh, the whole book started, then the spinoff. And uh, he's a billionaire. Um, he's also an insider. But um, I just, I'm going to play a little bit of this video because this is letting you know we're in a serious, serious, serious time of no healing for Babylon. Okay, let's check this out. The radio show, the good news and bad news about money. And today we have a very, very, very important show for all you young people out there. Because, as you may or may not have guessed, America is now bankrupt. And the question we're going to answer today is how did America, at one time, reportedly, the richest country in the world, is now bankrupt? So to, get, to understand that, we have to have three, three old guys today here. Because we've seen it happen over all these years. We can see it coming. And now it's so bad that America cannot pay the interest on our debt. The question is, what does that mean? That'd be like you saying, oh, I, I took out 10 second mortgages on my house, but now my job at McDonald's doesn't cover the mortgage payments. What does that mean? <laughs> it means you'd be living out back of McDonald's. That's what it means, you know, if you can understand this whole thing. So our guest today, our longtime friends, Jim Clark and Charles Goyette, and uh, I go to them when I have questions on the subject of money, and more specifically gold and silver and precious metals, but also the history of money. And to understand, that's why this show is very, very important to understand how the richest country in the world went broke. All right, broke so I'm going to stop it right there. This is the show. You can go over here if you're interested. This is a, his channel. You know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You know, um, you can go over here. It said, how did America go from the richest country to bankruptcy? And they, they, they pinpoint a year, which is 1944. Interesting year, because the 40s was the year for the Edomites. They loved them 40s, you know, and then you start moving up to 1971 when um, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard, therefore created the inflation, you know, uh, with the credit boom. Basically, he created a rubber band currency. And with, 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 with Robin and them are breaking down, it's biblical whether they know it or not, because the real money in the scriptures will be silver and gold. And that money belongs to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But wealth in itself is uh, more than just silver and gold. It's cattle. It's other materials. It's a bartering system. See, what the elites had created here was a monopoly for themselves to take control when they put in everything you do is based under silver and gold. Because when you go into uh, Abraham, he was rich in cattle, livestock. That made him rich. When Abraham went to uh, Laban, you know, he worked those 14 years. Actually, what I think was 21 altogether. You know, he, he came out rich with that cattle. So when you go into the scriptures and you get the understanding of what we about to take, we taking the earth back. Where, 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 where I'm going right now? Salaki. So we getting every, we just not getting silver and gold. This is what Esau wants to hoard and hold on to. Because if he can create, see what they've done with the money system is, hold on, I'm trying to get a scripture here, Haggai too. What they created with the money system here is, is a, basically an interruption to living. Because it works like this. A bartering system is you got something I want. Like I see you, you have something that I want. I go to you to inquire about it. You say, what do I have to offer? I offer you my trade. My trade may be making axes. I'm an I'm a ax smith, right? I'm a professional. 
You know, your trade may be making pianos. You might admire my axe. You feel it's worth a certain um, uh, uh, size, uh, keys, a piano, and then we make that swipe. That transaction was between me and you. What they did, they have put themselves in the middle with this whole fiat. That's why it's called fiat currency. Fiat means let it be. You understand? And they did it also with gold. Now, gold was bartered also. It was used as a tool. Maybe you didn't like my axe. You say, do I have something more valuable for the piano? Then I'll bring out other things to add up to that price. And it may be a bar gold or whatever. You understand? But it's many things that we traded with. You know, they and they show you that when they came, when Christopher Colombo and them came over here, they had a system going. The system always been running like that. It's always been running. Food is considered, you know, um, valuable. Food is considered wealth. If you're rich in food, and preppers will show you that. Preppers are not, you know, building up dollars and gold. They're building up food, you know, whatever they they need. Soap, water, tissue. You know, and that's going to make them rich when society collapse. So they played a trick and with Robin them go over in, in this video, which I like, it starts from the school system. Like he said, his poor dad, which was considered rich in his world, he had all kinds of degrees, but he didn't understand the, the money system. So he used to tell Robert to just go get an education. But his rich dad, which was his friend's dad, who became his rich dad, used to show him that, hey, I don't have an education, but I understand how money works. And the school system is set up to dumb you down. You know, so go over there and watch that video. But this is uh, Haggai 2, verse 8. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith <laughs> Yahweh of armies or Yahweh of hosts. So the silver belongs to the Heavenly Father and the gold belongs to the Heavenly Father. Now, what they also go over in this video, which I like, is the debt. <laughs> America owes so much interest, you understand, that it, they, they can't even pay off the interest to even get to the debt. And who do they owe? This is what people are not saying. Who do America owe? America owe those bankers. And it's all part of the collapse of the dollar. Basically, the dollar is done, man. They switching the system. That's why everything is going e e electrical. But the Lord said this here. This is um, Habakkuk, right? Uh, matter of fact, I think it's uh, Habakkuk 2, right? It says Habakkuk 2, verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth debt which is not his. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with the clay. Now, you know, when you go into this word clay, it, 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 it translates into debt. This thick clay here is debt. And laden meaning he covered himself with debt. And they go over the real-time debt. And the real-time debt clock is, is over... 260 trillion dollars how do you pay that off the elites ain't taking fiat currency for that how they pay it off is the labor of the citizens the the uh, uh america uses the, the 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 american citizens as collateral you, you understand to to print more money so when you go to the debt clock i got it here this is the real time debt clock and they go over this too inside the video as you can see, this is real time. You got the 33 trillion up there, right? Every citizen is on the hook right now for what's that number there? That's uh hold on, let me see. Salakia. Is it uh debt per citizen is just a little over. And look at that. <laughs> you got the 144. So it's about it's a it's a it's a it's a hundred and forty-four thousand, right? And you pay off now. How do you pay this debt off from your labor in the workforce? But see, the problem with America is that the elites are not getting anything because America is an import, not an export. Nothing is exported out of here besides music and entertainment. So all the imports is coming from China. So how do you get rid of this debt? They're not taking this debt with fiat currency, but this is the real-time debt down here. The real-time debt. You see them numbers? <laughs> That's over 200 
and seventy trillion dollars. You understand? Look at this. Oh, actually, right. Yep, right down here. This is it. So when you go into the GDP, right? That's the gross domestic product. There's a bank account for America. America has money, as you can see, right? And their account, right? The U.S. domestic product, right? We got 27 trillion, but you weigh it against their debt, which is they're in the red for almost two trillion. You understand? So this thing is hitting hard, man. You know this place is gone. And I, 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 hey, you can go over here and check this video out. Let me see if I can get a little more out of this video. Hold on. So thank you. Welcome to the program, Mr. Clark. Well, thank you, Robert, for having us. It's always <laughs> a pleasure to be with you, sir. And hello, Mr. Goyat. It's great to see you again. Yeah, you know, we've gone back. We've been on the gym. Because we've been up there yakking away, talking about, hey, get out of the dollar, get out of the dollar. I used to I used to try to call Robert and wake him up early in the morning to be on my radio show years and years and years ago. Probably longer ago than you can Let me see if I can, uh, Right, but, but you know, a lot of people it. had no idea back then. And, and unfortunately, and just in three months in the Biden administration, they added over one trillion. Hold on. Remember in 1976 when the national debt with minutes or something, you know, 33 trillion minutes is ungodly. Oh, man. And a trillion, one trillion oh, no. debt that we have. Correct. America oh. today is student loan debt. Well, and of course, the all the entitlements that are out there are far more than the national debt that we have. Correct. Correct. So it's 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 even bigger than when we hear the national debt just hit 33 trillion dollars. Well, it's maybe more like 200 trillion dollars is the real number. I think it's 260. Yeah. 260 trillion and a trillion one trillion years is like 32,000 yeah. minutes or something you know 32 trillion minutes is ungodly how do we get this far to debt well i can remember in 1976 when the national debt was approaching a trillion dollars and everybody was up in arms saying well we can't we can't stand a trillion dollar national debt that the country will go down the drain and fast forward a few more years and uh, to 33 trillion, and just in three months in the Biden administration, they added over one trillion to the national debt. So it took us. You know, you hear that? Yeah, in three. <laughs> in three months, they added one trillion. So you can go over here, check this out. Very interesting. You know, we would have held Babylon. I'm just ending right here, <laughs> but she can't be held, man. You know, Babylon. This is it. You know, and this is they're breaking the paper system all around the world. So they can bring in this electrical system, man. So you best believe the least about to call in all the debt. China debt, you know, Russia's debt. Everybody debt gonna be called in, which they can't pay. It says, um, uh, this is Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. We would had healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go. Everyone into his own country, which is happening, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lift up even unto the sky. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Hakwadash, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. Shalom, Labakarium, Shalom, Shalom.